so slimy, so tender. Ooh. Good evening. Tonight I'll be reading for you chapter two from Lewis Carroll's The Hunting of the Snark. The Bellman's Speech. Self, the all praise to the skies. Such a carriage, such ease, and such grace. Such solemnity, too. One could see he was wise the moment one looked in his face. He had bought a large map representing the sea without the least vestige of land. And the crew much pleased when they found it to be a map they could all understand. What's the good of Mercator's North Poles and Equators, Tropics, Zones, and Meridian Lines? So the bellmen would cry, and the crew would reply, they are merely conventional signs. Other maps are such shapes islands and keeps, but we've got our brave captain to thank. So the crew would protest that he's brought us the best, a perfect and absolute blank. This was charming, no doubt, but they shortly found out that the captain they trusted so well had only one notion for crossing the ocean, and that was to tingle his bell.
to sleep.